Hello, friends. It's just uh, Starship Trooper coming at you. Uncle Larry with an expanded version of Uncle Larry's garage sale. The deluxe version. So, if you're not into looking at a bunch of cool gear that a guy's selling, click off this video immediately and go watch something else, okay? Immediately. Because it's going to be super boring for you if you're not into cool stuff that a guy's selling, you know? Let's see, I got like... Five guitars here, um, like an amp and about five pedals. Um, and if you want any of this stuff, you can email me directly at tombukovac at gmail.com, okay? And we can sort out the shipping. You know, uh, buyer pays the shipping, like always. And I'm not going to do any international shipping, so don't get mad at me because I don't want to ship one to Zimbabwe, okay? Uh, I, you know, and I also hate shipping amps. Shipping amps is a living nightmare, as we all know. I think about two out of ten amps that I've ever shipped got there without incident. Um, all right, I'm going to start with the only big money piece in the whole bunch. So this is all kind of like utilitarian stuff, which is kind of cool. And uh, I just was looking around. I, I got too much gear. I don't, I don't, there's really nothing I'm trying to buy or anything. I just, uh, I just want to get rid of some of this stuff. I mean... I got too, I got too much stuff, and you guys know that feeling. I know you're a lot of you guys out there are in the same boat. But here it is. Uh, some of you said don't sell this, but I got two of these, and I don't need two killer old BC riches, right? This is a '76, real early Mockingbird Supreme, badass guitar, man. Um, the one that I use on the Ann Wilson gig is a '78 Eagle, right? This is a different shape with the Mockingbird, and. Um, I don't know if any of you guys research these, but these are hard to get. These are early ones, and they're expensive. I, uh, I'm asking fifty five hundred for this with the hard show case, and it's you know it's you know just got out of the grooms getting set up. It plays amazing. Electronics work perfectly, which is rare for one of these. It's got the booster, you know, the built in fuzz. It's amazing. Um, this guitar actually, I think, sounds better than the, than the Eagle that I use on that Ann Wilson gig, but. Uh, it's about nine pounds. They're not light. Very cool guitar. So if you want that, let me know. Here's a... I'm also going to sell this, this old Dean that I've used in many episodes. Um, this is a great guitar. Great sounding. Tough guy guitar. It's a 1980 um, Elite Cadillac. So, uh, you know, it's had, had some stuff done to it. I had to put different pickups in it change the pots out you know, because I think at one point this thing may have been underwater. I, I think the headstock wings started to separate a little bit so I had them re-glued but I had you know killer fret job done on this thing. Original paint and everything. It's in decent shape. But this thing plays amazing. It's got like a really cool kind of a soft v-neck lightweight. Really cool guitar with an old X2N in the bridge and a super distortion here. Um, the only thing about this is I don't have the right case or a gig bag for it, so I don't know how I'm going to ship it. I'd have to find something, because this is a very odd-shaped guitar. You can't just stick it in any gig bag, but... 1500 Sound fair enough? These are hard to find, these old ones. Uh, Uncle Larry prices, kids. Here's an old, uh, 57 Supro Ozark, which is very cool, because it's got the sandwich pickup, like a lap steel, where the strings go through, like, you know, like, when you get your rod cooter on. This one's a, you know... Pretty rough shape. Uh, like a lot of these, the headstock's sort of bent a little bit from the tension over the years. So somebody put string trees on it to try to hold those strings down. It plays good though, actually. Uh, but you know, with these old sandwich pickups, every string's a different volume kind of thing. But it's a very cool sound, very crude, raunchy kind of thing. Got a gig bag, thousand bucks. How's that sound? Fair enough. Find another one. How about this? 60s uh, Hagstrom 12 string, electric, thin body, real light. This thing plays amazing. Super low action, totally out of tune. But this is a really cool sounding guitar. I love these pickups. Um, you know, this is just some seriously retro Swedish goodness. Uh, I don't know, 750? With a gig bag. Pretty good, huh? Uh, let's see. 
Here's some, you remember this thing from, I think I've used every one of these guitars in an episode or two. Um, Tysco TG1 with a built-in amp that it puts out about 0 0.00001 watt when it works. Uh, crazy giant headstock. This thing plays amazing. I've had a bunch of these in my life. This is definitely the best playing one with the straightest neck that I've seen. Um, I think if you just put a battery in this amp will actually work. It worked at one time. It's got the gold foil pickup. I don't know. 350 with a gig bag. How's that sound? Fair enough. I got, remember the old, uh, I got two of these. I don't need two of them. The old Electromonics Black Finger Compressor, which is really cool. With a custom 18 volt power supply built by dearest Arthur Slopeman, my old pal. What do we got on this? How about two and a quarter for this? Very cool, right? Very cool. Uh, here's a weird one from the 60s, taking you back to Japan. An Apollo Cryer Wah. I just plugged it in and it really sounds really good. It's a very cool sounding Wah. Um, 100 bucks. 100 bucks. For you, 100 bucks. Uh, this is on reverb right now. This is a really, really rare, cool pedal called the Systec Harmonic Energizer. If you've got any Zappa fans out there, you know it, this is one of his favorite pedals, and these are pretty cool and hard to find. Um, 1300 bucks with the original box in excellent condition. It sounds very cool. It's like a cocked, wah, distortion, parametric EQ kind of vibe. It is really awesome. Uh, really early 80s... Uh, DOD Overdrive 250 preamp, if you want to get your Ingve on. Works perfect. How about two and a quarter for that? All right. What else? Um, 60s or early 70s, maybe. It's 1970-ish. Uh, Fender Blender. Fuzz. Total Isley Brothers Jam. Really cool pedal. I probably shouldn't sell this. Let's do like... I'm gonna have four and a quarter on that. I got this all written down. Um, what else? One more thing. How about this? This is cool. 68 basement head kicks ass. Uh, serviced by Evo. Uh, thousand bucks. It's yours. And that would be a Nashville local pickup only because I hate shipping amps. It sucks. Uh, did I forget anything? That's it. Hey, guys, thank you again for all the uh, kind words about the uh, the videos I put up lately. Um, I've been posting a lot of stuff, you know, because I've you know the gigs have been canceled and everything, and I'm bored. So I uh, appreciate you all, you know, uh, sticking with me and watching all these silly videos, and you know. Um, yeah, it means a lot, you know, uh, the kind words and the, all the sweet emails you guys send, you know. If I can't respond to all of them, I know you understand. There's a lot to come in, and I, and I try to answer them, but it's just like, I, I need a team of people to handle it at this point. But um, I do really appreciate all the stuff, you know, and, and uh, you guys are cool. And I, got, I feel like I got the coolest following, of small but mighty following of people on YouTube, man. You guys are awesome. Except for a couple of you. You know, there's a couple we need to work on. But anyway, yeah, email me about any of this stuff you want. It's all cool stuff. You know, I don't mess around. This stuff all works. You don't have to worry about it, you know. Um, and uh, that's it for now. All right, I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye-bye.